Yo, what's up guys? We all know what this is, yeah? But what if I told you that size really matters? Then would this be better than this? Well, we'll find out when we fit the Ryzen into this motherboard. So this is the uh, ROG Zenith Extreme featuring the X399 chipset. Uh, it's suitable for all AMD Ryzen Threadripper CPUs. So let's get started and build our test rig. See you later. Yep, it's the Ryzen Threadripper 1950X. Here we have the ROG DIMM2 expansion card. This is where you fit the uh, M.2 SSD. Alright, so now we've mounted the CPU onto the board, it's uh, time to get some thermal paste on there and then we'll mount the uh, AIO cooler. So here's the finished item, the AIO cooler is mounted, uh, it's a thermal take water 3.0 and yeah everything looks good. And now it's time to fit the uh, Zotac GeForce GTX 1080, uh, it's a great car and uh, we'll be using this to test our ROG Zenith Extreme motherboard. Everything's fitted nicely and we're ready to go, here you go, let's power up. Yep, everything's working great. Nice. Let's check the BIOS. All right, so let's have a quick breakdown of the components used in our test rig. We've got the uh, Thermaltake Water 3.0 all-in-one cooler. We also have the uh, Zotac GeForce GTX 1080. For RAM, we have 32 gigs of the DDR4 3000 from Corsair and 256 gigs of the uh, Hellfire M.2 SSD from Patriot. Yeah, so now that we've successfully built our test rig, it's time for a quick unboxing. Alright, so we have the uh, ROG Zenith Extreme. Let's do a quick unboxing. Very nice plastic uh, protector here. Right, and we have the actual motherboard itself. Nice. Wow, it's heavy. Okay, so let's put this on the side. Let's go through the accessories first and uh, see what we have all right so let's take this box out okay oh underneath we have some stuff we have the uh, user guide yes interesting uh, rog aeron 10g card so this is the uh, 10 gigabit card very nice instructions for that um, so quick installation guide Yep, expansion, the uh, fan extension card and a load of uh, ROG stickers. So, got some nice, a uh, big sheet of ROG stickers. Nice. Okay, let's put these on the side and have a look at the accessory box. All right, wow, look all the stuff inside. We have the um, ROG DIMM2. This is the uh, M.2 
expansion card. So there's one M.2 connector here and the other one on that size is two. And that fits into the uh, motherboard. So we have that. We have um, some thermal sensors, temperature sensors. Then we have um, some RGB cables, the lighting cables. Okay. Uh, so that crosses. We have, uh, oh, 20% cable mods, cables. Okay, nice. Uh, Wi Fi aerials, yeah. Antennas. Got two of them there. Uh, what's this? Oh, right. Well, this is to go with that. That's the uh, ROG. Nice logo. Okay, sticker there. Badge. Hmm. The beer mat. Um, some ROG stickers. Cable labels. Hmm. Okay, nice. And let's have a look at some of this stuff here. Okay. We have the. Uh, the 10 gigabit card, it's the uh, ROG Aerion. Aerion, yeah, 10G, 10 gigabit card. Nice. I think this itself costs quite a bit. You need a 10 gigabit router to take advantage of this, otherwise, it'll, uh, you know. Anyway, so that's that. We have, um, ooh, yep. Four-way SLI, nice. Four-way SLI. This is a, that, this is the bridge, yeah, that's the two-way. Okay. And then we have, I believe this is the tri three-way, yeah. Tri-SLI bridge, okay. So we have uh, four-way, three-way, and, and dual SLI, okay. Also included is uh, ROG USB. I'm not sure what size this is, but uh, we can find out. What else do we have? We have these, mm. oh, plate. There's metal, metal plate. Go with the motherboard, nice, okay. And then, uh, all right, this is the, the fan controller. Yep. One, two, one, two, three, four, four fan controllers, one, two, three. Two more sensors, yeah, nice. Okay, so we have that in there. And a load of screws for your motherboard and M.2 SSDs. So these are the accessory bits. So now we have the motherboard. Let's take this out of the... Okay, wow, it's pretty heavy. All right, so there we have the uh, Zenith Extreme, the ROG Zenith Extreme. It uses the X399 chipset, suitable for all AMD Ryzen Threadripper CPUs. All right, so we'll start with the, um, the DDR DIMM slots. There's uh, eight of them in total, so that gives you a quad channel memory. Notice here the DIMM.2. So this is what the uh, uh, expansion card was for the uh, M.2 uh, SSDs. Because notice on the board, there's no M.2 connectors. So they've taken away that and put it onto a expansion card. All right, so let's start with this end. Notice there's two eight pin power um, EATX 12 volt and uh, one and two, so this is needed for your motherboard, the power the motherboard. Um, full size ATX power connector there. Okay. There's a start button and a reset button. Ideal for, um, for users who don't clock. And then we have our USB 3 here. Six SATA ports. And this is the uh, U.2 connector there. Uh, nice heat sink here uh, with RGB effects, I believe. Okay, so notice here you have uh, lots of buttons here. One for reset, one's this uh, safe mode, slow mode, and uh, <coughs> extension there, the fans and stuff like that. USB 3, more, and uh, 
a load of other connectors here, add on card. Yeah. Um, there's a four pin Molex. Interesting. Okay, then we have the Supreme FX audio. So nice. And uh, you'll have one, two, three, four, four PCIe 16 slots there. Okay. Um, this will give you quad SLI, uh, three way SLI, or obviously uh, Crossfire as well. And the uh, 10 gig card fits in this slot here. It's PCIe times four. Okay, moving on to the I.O. We have uh, clear CMOS and then the flash BIOS. Uh, connectors for your antenna, Wi-Fi. There's a total of six USB 3 ports, a gigabit LAN. There's a Sisha keyboard. Interesting. BIOS. And there's the USB 3.1, and the C type and the A type. And then you have SB diff and an array of audio connectors. There's gold connectors, you can notice that. Very nice. And this hood covers, the IO hood covers what appears to be a fan inside. So that gives you extra cooling. Very nice. There's also an LED display panel showing you the battery setup and other readings. Notice the uh, TR4 socket, big, it's chunky. Um, there's instructions here, it tells you. You have to open, start with screw three, two, and one, and close it then, you obviously go back upwards, uh, one, two, and three. Very interesting, very large. Um, this board weighs really heavy. Uh, but yeah, it's got very, very, very good quality. Feels very much solid. Um, there's your uh, heat sink, heat pipe there. Uh, gives you some cooling there for your MOSFETs and the VRMs. The rear, nice uh, Republic of Gamers logo right here. And then uh, Zenith Extreme, Origin Zenith Extreme. And uh, you'll notice here, along this edge here, there's a row of LEDs. RGB LEDs to so give you a nice RGB effect. So that's pretty much it. This is the um, ROG Zenith Extreme. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click like if you liked the video, subscribe to our channel, and visit our website for more news, reviews, and hot tips.